they're going to be the farthest humans ever from Earth. And it's going to be, I, I'm, I'm really excited to see the photos that they get. The moon rehearsal, mm -hmm. which happened on December 20th in preparation for, this is the sort of Artemis II final dress rehearsal. Uh, NASA successfully completed a full launch day simulation for the first crewed lunar mission in half a century. So Very if you exciting. don't think we went to the moon before, we at least might go to the moon now. Let's see. Uh, th this is a collaboration between both NASA and the Canadian Space Agency. Yep. Uh, we have astronauts Christina Koch, Victor Glover, Jeremy Hansen, and Reed Weissman. Uh, it's going to be a 10-day mission, which is super exciting. And they're taking off, I believe it is February 5th. So it's coming soon. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's basically like Apollo 8. They're not landing on the moon, um, but... They're not landing on the moon, but they're actually going to be going around the moon. Yep. And then coming right back. And one of the coolest things about this is um, it's, it's going to be the farthest that humans have ever been from planet Earth. Really? Yes. Because even in, even in the Apollo missions, you know, they went around the moon. But the, the guy who stayed in the lunar capsule, or sorry, in the command module, rather than the two guys who went down in the lunar module, the guy who stayed in the command module, Michael Collins in Apollo 11, for example was pretty close to the surface of the moon on the other side. He was on the far side on his own. Um, with these guys, these guys are actually overshooting, and they're going to go really far out and then around the back. Catch, catch yeah. A wider orbit. yeah, yeah. So, so they're going to be the farthest humans ever from Earth. And it's going to be... I, I'm, I'm really excited to see the photos that they get. It would be cool to see, like, are they going to be so far that they can get the moon, moon and, and the, the Earth, Earth in the same shot? It's the... the pale blue dot v2 that would be insane that would be really really cool because we don't really have a photo like that of yes. like you know our our family right, like right, right. earth and the moon yeah, yeah. together yeah, yeah. like that yeah actually we do that's not true we do have that from um these there's this japanese satellite that's quite far away right in between the sun and the and the earth okay and every once in a while when the moon goes in front of the earth it gets a photo doesn't count there's no people but in like, there yeah exactly this would be like a, a photo taken it's by us. a human being it's us that would be not really our, cool. Not the fruit of our loins, which is technology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're, we'll be on the lookout for Artemis 2. We actually have uh, Artemis behind us uh, over one of our shoulders. Oh, over the other shoulder. Oh, this, it's, it's this <laughs> camera now. We're still getting used to the three camera setup here. But it's uh, right here. It took me uh, not a reasonable amount of time to build.